Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to Plague Inc. of Old with me, Lathrix, and welcome to The Curse by Send Newts and a lovely little Egyptian picture here. So I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of Egyptian themed, you know, mummy thing. I haven't actually played it yet or read the description because. I'm running out of time, sir and sirettes. I've only got two hours to record until the end of my recording session, the last session in the old house, and I'm wasting it explaining about that. I'm very smart. After thousands of years, archaeologists uncover a hidden chamber in the pyramids, leading to untold riches. The golden jewels found are immediately collected and sent to metallurgic factories to be melted down or put into necklaces only ne- oh, damn, it continued. Rings and other jewelry. I was going to harp on our only necklaces. But no, the writer had to be more intelligent than that. Uh. What they don't know is what exactly was lurking inside that tomb. This is my first submission and all that good stuff. Um, features multiple win scenarios. Ooh. Creative symptoms and transmissions. All the death you can imagine. That's it for now. Okay, sounds good. Well, if it's your first scenario, then you should be very, very proud because you've managed to get on the featured thing. So well done to you, first of all, sir. Well done indeed. Oh, yes, I'll, pe I'll play on Brutal. <laughs> the funny jokes. The funny jokes indeed. The curse. The curse. I was going to say, if we don't start in um, Egypt, I'd, I'd have actually manually started there, because it seems wrong not to. After archaeologists discover vast riches in the pyramids, a deadly curse falls upon one of them. That's right, Bob. It's you. Because you took the shiniest of rings. You're finally... Br you've br sorry, you've... You're finally broken free from the ancient tomb, because that would have made sense. You can win by either killing everyone with two super deadly symptoms, or enslave the whole human race into worshipping the ancient e Egyptian gods, secretly called Nurgle. It's up to you now. Okay, well, it's up to me, so I won't, I won't make my ancient gods um, disappointed. What have we got? What have we got? We have the pyramid escape, which we already have. The humans have opened the tomb. And you have begun to spread. Wait, I am the disease? Excellent! I've always wanted to be a disease. I don't know what kind of noise diseases was would actually make. I was going to make like a, like a bird noise for some reason. Alternative transmissions. Didn't I just want to way too much, way too many painkillers right now? The curse can now infect many different types of organisms, unlock animal and microbial transmissions. Hoo hoo, I like that one already. Air level one. No friendship for you. Um, no friendship for you, one. Uh, affected now emit a type of aura in the immediate area. Physical contact with the infected is no longer needed. In increased infectivity and severity. In fact, that is quite nice. Um, acne. Strange lumps begin to form on the skin, but can easily be popped. Mmm, satisfying. Popping them slightly increases infectivity. You dirty, dirty te teenagers, you. Pesticide resistance. Scarabs. I first said scabs. I was thinking about, um, spots too much. Scarabs become resistant to most pesters. Oh, okay, so we're spreading it via scarabs to start off with? Okay, so, that's, okay, so we are the scarabs then. We are the scarab god. Can anyone think of a good name for a scarab god? Feel free to leave it in the description below. In, in the comment section below. I keep saying that. Scarabs develop a hardened exoskeleton, resulting in increased survivability in harsh climates. Okay, well I think I'll start off with the air level 1, then go into the microbial, just because microbial is kind of cool. New, t new tomb found in the pyramids. Archaeologists found a new tomb while exploring previously discovered passageways when they tripped and grabbed a torch, resulting in a hidden door to swing open. Very um, film cliche there. The room was filled with gold and gems that the Egyptian government planned to export. Good on them. Get some money into your economy. I mean, I mean that's what I would do. But saying that I rather like money. Air level 2. Aura around afflicted is now larger. Still no friendship. And is much less visible. Wait, it was visible? I thought it was like an invisible aura. Well, I, th I, th I, think, it's, I, th I think the severity would have been a little bit higher than that. If you're glowing... Increases infectivity and reduces. Ooh, no. Water level. Oh, people keep asking me this. Actually, I'll quickly answer it now because um, I don't do plaguing as much as I used to, and I've kind of been bringing it back recently. And people have joined me because of Ark, because of Robocraft over the year. Um, a lot of people haven't been playing plaguing or don't really know some of the basics, which is fair enough. Um, 
and they ask me, why on earth do you want severity, as all these negatives, or they simply ask, why do you want severity? It's because although it does increase the speed you are cured, and, as in, sorry, how fast they start putting money in, it doesn't increase the speed itself, it just increases how fast they ramp up, and it also increases the likelihood of you being found, it also, most importantly, increases how much DNA you get per red bubble. If you have no severity, you will lose on the harder settings, and because I play everything on, on Mega Brutal, and I'm not doing a, a custom scenario, which is normally not balanced very well, um, it, it's kind of ingrained in me to always go for medium severity very early on. So, Water 1. You can now affect any water that has been sitting out for extended periods of time. Increases infectivity, particularly in poor countries, like we are in right now, in fact. I've only just realised we only just spread to our next person. Water is 7 DNA. Okay, we'll get that next. Oh, what that, though? Water first. Most forms of contact with water can result in the water becoming affected, further increasing infectivity. And sorry for the mic noises just then. Droplets. Small water droplets in the air can now be affected, increasing infectivity, especially in humid areas. So, let's have a quick look-see. Uh, I do like that. I do like the uh, severity there. Okay. Bumps appear in larger clusters and become itchy, further increasing teenageness. Irritation. Affected experience irritation all over their bodies, increasing severity and slightly increasing infectivity. Very irritable. Very dirty so far. I <laughs> need um, symptoms. I must say I'm rather enjoying this one so far. Okay, let's do the alternative. Ooh, options. Avian transmission. Birds are able to be affected by the curse, causing them to dive bomb humans in an effort to curse them. Increases infectivity and lands cursing. Uh, microorganisms, such as amoebas, are now able to become cursed. Oh, awful bacterium and stuff. Incredibly difficult to detect and increases infectivity. I'd imagine so. I mean, even in a microbial lab, you probably wouldn't look at bacterium and assume it's cursed for some reason. I should know. I'm a microbiologist. Dogs with affected owners can become affected. A high chance of spreading it to other humans and their dogs, increasing infectivity greatly. Mosquito transmission. Mosquitoes that have drank affected blood are now affected and target humans actively. Increases in infectivity, especially in hot climates. Okay, that's rather cool, it must be said. I would like avian transmission because avian transmission is always a good one for getting um, a quick start. Well, kind of mid game now, but still. Let's go with more acne. Acne 3. Bumps burst on their own after a, sh after a period of time, releasing baby scarabs. Aww, ew. Aww, ew. Greatly increases infectivity and severity a bit more than I am actually comfortable with, so let's just make them really irritable, shall we? Though I do kind of want the bird thing, but I feel like I'm a little bit low on DNA, so let's go with irritation. A bit more severity. I would like to get 3 plus DNA per red bubble, honestly. Mild irritation of the epidermis causes itching, increases severity. So was it irritation then before? If it wasn't itchy, just weird feeling? Imagine trying to um, describe that to your doctor. Well, doc, my skin feels weird. Sounds like um, some kind of psychiatric disease, honestly. Okay, good, we've been found. Excellent. That's what I'd love to see. Hmm, let's become a little bit more resistant against climates because we have just reached some of the cold climates and obviously I want to rush to Russia. Rush to Russia so we can rush to Greenland. I couldn't think of anything which like, sounded like Greenland or green because rush to Russia, gr um, go to green, that didn't work. Okay, so we're good in cold climates and we also want to become resistant to drugs quite soon as well. Although I do want a little bit more severity though still, which is kind of... Mm -hmm. I don't quite know where to go next, I'll be honest. Occasionally even the plague gods can be confused. Pesticide resistance level 1. Scarab's DNA is protected by a layer of proteins blocking out all DNA denaturing pesticides. Further increases effectiveness in wealthy countries. Oh, I didn't read these did I? Exoskeletons absorb liquid easily and uses it to cool down. Increases survivability in hot and humid, I shouldn't really need hot resistance because I've started off somewhere hot, and the exoskeleton can generate heat by vibrating if needed. And finally, can re retain heat, Com combining them both for a nice, warm, cosy day. The Curse Awareness Day. I kind of want to be around for that day, it'd be a very interesting day. Wake up, Jimmy! What's wrong, Mom? It's Curse Day! Yay! Curse Gaming? Oh no. 
<laughs> okay, cold resist level 2, that should be enough. Um, generally, I only get drug level 1, we'll see how. If, of course, over custom scenario, it's never sure if they've gone with the standard level, so. Hmm. Shall I risk it? Okay, let's risk it. We're going Acne 3. Ooh, wow, that went a bit mental. Blindness. Eggs forming on the eye and optic nerve cause blindness, reducing infectivity. Oh, but greatly increasing severity and work needed to, to develop a cure. Defense mechanisms. Scarabs can now emit a strong odor. Ooh, almost like a skunk in times of danger, increasing survivability. Defensive mentality. Scarabs will attack anything that poses a potential threat to them and their eggs, increasing survivability. Some attacks can be fatal. Hormone production. Eggs deposited on the brain Sist um, stimulate rather the production of certain hormones and chemicals. Host is much less likely to notice infection. And then we have cerebral irritation. Eggs laid on the brain matter cause numerous symptoms in the host, including confusion and irritation. Even more irritation, making cure research difficult. Sometimes it may kill you. And finally, premature release. <laughs> Teenagers. Um, scratching of the pimples reduce, sorry, results in premature release of scarabs. Um, few survive, resulting in a slight increase in infectivity. Okay. Oh no. Uh, researchers of Baff, uh, sorry, um, the curse somehow causes scarab eggs to be found in patients. Oh, it's a um, custom one. I thought it was just going to be the finding the, uh, what do you call it? What's it called? Patient zero, is it called? The p first person to be infected, um, whatever it's called. Researchers are baffled and have no explanation. Probably because it's scarabs. Oh, wait, no. Do the eggs come before the scarab? Ne never mind then, actually. Hmm, let's go with this one. Defense mechanisms leads to enhanced senses. Scarabs can now sense when prey or predator is nearby, triggering the flight or fight response much sooner and increasing infectivity as well as lethality. Well, you may as well start killing people. Actually, no, we shouldn't, should we? Because we haven't got to Greenland and the islands just yet. And we'll at least go to Iceland, go to one of them. Do I need more cold resist? Do I need to get one of them? Oh, no, it's just spreading remarkably slowly. I feel we went a bit too severe, a bit too fast in this one. Did I say Greenland? Well, Germany's leading the cure effort. I hope it's Greenland. Greenland has, like, no money in this game. Because of its tiny, tiny, tiny population. Okay, well, we need to spread faster, so... Um... Hot climate just increases greatly. Just regular land transmission. Host feeding. Ooh, look at that. Okay, scarab eggs feed off the nutrients found in the host, resulting in much shorter incubation periods. Leading to host feast. Eggs rapidly use the host nutrients, resulting in much quicker. Okay, and corpse feeding. Okay, good. The, and then the dead are actually food. And finally, putrefactive necrosis. Rapid digestion of nutrients from dead bodies liquefies internal organs, causing some bodies to explode from pressure buildup. Greatly increases infectivity. Great. And then let's do pesticide resistance 2 and heat resistance 1 for no reason. And there we go. We should be a lot more infectious. Aha, take that. And we also cancelled the uh, World Cup. So there. Now you're screwed, humans. Please send a boat to Greenland. Please, don't make me do this again. It'd be nice if you let me just win this today. Please? Pretty please? Please. You're blind now, that means you should send it there by accident. Okay, we're, we're actually about to be cured. Just noticed. <laughs> Uh, making cure research much more difficult, much harder to cure. Cerebral alterations. The curse modifies existing brain matter to make the host think and function differently, sometimes causing insanity, much harder to cure. Uh, any other harder to cures? Doesn't seem like it. Let's go let's go down here. Ooh. Ah, increases survivability and effect on small climates. Additional chitin is formed. I hate how that's pronounced chitin. Is formed on weak points of the exoskeleton. Okay, and then we have. This one increasing severity and lethality. Awesome. Okay, okay, what does... Oh, I was hoping there'd be something here. Okay, hormone production, they're much less, less likely to notice infection. Didn't really do much, though, honestly, so... Yeah. Please. Come on, come on, Russia. I believe in you. I mean, you could be bestest pals. You no! Know, Greenland wins! Of course Greenland wins! Okay. Back in a second, I'm restarting. Okay, so we're basically at the same stage we was before, but this time Greenland is infected, and I focused a little bit more on transmission. Sadly, this evolved itself and became, well, a bit of a nuisance later on, but still, so... 
we're going down this route this time. So, um, large man's... I don't know if I just talked about this one or not. I can't remember. It's actually been a good 20 minutes. I had some food as well. So we'll skip ahead onto this one, which I definitely haven't seen before. Hallucinations. Digestion of brain matter causes vivid hallucinations, which can sometimes lead to death. Um, cerebral irritation. We've had this one before. But I want to see what's here, you see. The curse modifies existing brain matter to make the host think and function differently. We've had that one before. And now this one. Hello. Hallucinations become more vivid, and sometimes tell the hosts a specific message. Sorry, specific messages. However, we can't unlock the last one. Hmm, that's curious. Anarchist Bomb Brazil. Oh, I'm sorry, Brazil. Why not? Ah. Should we go down this route, then, I suppose? Or should we go to... Or, sh or shall we try and get some lethality? Because killing them, you see, will actually get me DNA. So I'm going to do that. So, okay, so we've just got um, defense mentality and then group mentality. Scarabs find safety in numbers and group together in large colonies, especially when a large number of corpses are present. Increases infectivity and severity. I think you mean lethality. Well, probably all of them. Itching! Yay, that's not that useful, actually. We're going to be cured, aren't we? Seriously? Okay, well, one thing I'm going to say is right now, this doesn't. Everything's too expensive. That's one thing I have found. Well, everyone's infected. Let's do this. Oh, wait. Was Greenland fully infected? Yes, it was. Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to do a bit of a mass devolvement now. See if, and see if I can get enough DNA to at least find the end piece so we can just cheat on next time and actually well find it, shall we? Pesticide resistance is grabbed. Excellent. And then we don't need transmissions anymore, so we can devolve these. Actually, it was the same with abilities. I couldn't figure out how to get to the last one of those either, which is quite curious. Obviously, they're linked together somehow, so it's probably just me being silly and not um, figuring out some basic ideas. But still. There we are. So we go with... Pff, it's so expensive, though. Um, sure, why not? And still, no. Okay. Then we're going to go cheat mode, then. Because uh, I have no time left, I'm afraid. I have only one hour left now, and I have other things I need to do. So, let's go cheat, and... Uh, sure, 100% infected straight away, and then immune strain... No, don't really care about immune strain. Uh, sure, why not? And hidden strain, so we can just do what we do, and unlimited strain. There we go. Go! Warning, cheats are active! Oh no! What a deadly shame. Yay! Okay, so how do we get the win condition? So I assume is there. So we get all the way here. Ooh, ah... Look at that, that doesn't even allow you to go there. So, the question is... What unlocked those? Oh, no, okay, so the aura one? Hmm, that, that's actually really cryptic. I don't know what would unlock the others. Is it... I can't imagine it would be... Really? Host feeding unlocks that. Oh, the scarab eggs, I suppose it is. Yeah, but you see, I, I would have never thought of that unless I knew that was there already. So is it a, um, a transmission I'm missing? Oh, let's go, let's go all the way to the side. Acne 4. Scarabs have a much higher chance of surviving when released prematurely. Increases everything. And then you get the three choices. Oh, that's very expensive. That was okay. That's exceedingly expensive, and there is. I would have. I would have never guessed that. I would have never guessed you would need the entire symptom tree to go down one route. I actually dislike that generally because, um, to me, it's counterintuitive and it kind of it puts you on the wrong kind of thing. It's like I don't want to have to do everything. If, if there are different trees to do different things, I want to go down the tree. So I'm doing that, not doing everything. Then at the very end, make a choice. But let's see what the choices are regardless. Massive cerebral modifications. Huge amounts of hormone production and cerebral alterations are made, causing the afflicted to worship the Egyptian gods. Total brain death. Eggs begin to digest the brainstem, eventually disconnecting the brain from the body, resulting in a rapid death. And explosive exit. Eggs are laid everywhere inside the host body and all hatch at once. Oh. Let's get all of them, just because... Oh crap, of course. We have to infect the world for the wind condition to be... Uh... Okay, in that case, what I'll do is quickly grab all of these infections, and then we're going to quickly devolve... We can't devolve the bad... Oh, we can! Yay! Go away! Same with you! Okay. Now it should be fine, because if you, if you recall, we have the invisible cheat on. 
Oh, hello. Egg swap DNA. Eggs exchange. If the funny thing is, I actually had all of this here, other than this. Then I had all of these, and I didn't have these egg swaps. I don't know which ones unlocked those. Does that mean this is unlocked now as well? Excellent. So it's just um, increases mutation chance. Oh, I should, I should not be evolving this, but I just wanted to keep on looking. Okay, so what is it? So eggs exchange information while inside the host, increasing mutation chance and effort needed to cure. DNA sometimes fractures during swap, resulting in a higher rate of mutation. More research required. DNA is highly unstable and mutates constantly, making cure research nearly impossible. So it's both um, anti-cure and mutation. Okay. But again, it's just... It's just too expensive. I find that the game, if you want to go down the severity route, you get a lot of severity to get DNA, but then you get found instantly. Pharmacopoeia. Um, alterations in cerebral tissue cause the host to actively fear taking medicine or taking part in research effectively. Well, yeah. Effectiveness greatly increased in wealthy countries. As you might imagine. And we'll just take a second now to spread to the world and see if the wind condition is in fact the wind condition. Okay, it's every country infected anyway. I actually took a little bit longer than expected considering we have so much effectivity. We're randomly evolving things, sadly, of course. Was so everyone infected? Okay, and that means that the massive cerebral modification should give us the win condition. Should give us the win. It should give us... There we go. All humans worship the gods. All the humans on Earth now worship the Egyptian gods. All cure research has stopped and the human race worships the gods at altars until they inevitably... So, so we kill them anyway, essentially. Okay, then. Yay, three stars, we totally didn't cheat in the end. Um, so what do I think about it? So, Sir and Sirettes, as you know, I always um, score things out of five, and I give my honest opinion at the end. I would say, particularly for a first scenario, it was actually very good. I enjoyed it, despite the fact of a few complaints at the end there. I would rate it four out of five. I'd say right now it's where it should be. Four out of five is a very good amount. Um, the things I would change... Two big things I would change. Number one... If you're going to keep it in the current format, so the, the, both of these things are actually against each other, which is funny enough. If you're going to keep it in the current format, it needs to be cheaper. The things are very expensive, which means you have no room for error. You have to go down the correct path the first time. And honestly, the correct path is very cryptic. I would have never, because um, it's not like, uh, once you read the symptom, of course it links quite well that the eye is being starved because of the uh, the eggs inside of it, so of course you need the eggs. The problem is you don't see the symptom until you've got the transmission, so I would never know that that transmission would possibly give me a new symptom. It's completely unrelated and so far hadn't been touched, so I think it needs to be a bit more obvious for silly old buggers like me, and um, again, it does need to be or, and slash or, it, everything needs to be a little bit cheaper. I find myself constantly struggling for DNA to, a, to an extent where it's not really fun. Um, of course, you have to not give us too much DNA, but that was a bit too little. And finally, um, and this kind of goes against the other one a little bit, I would personally have each path a little bit more separate. Needing to have everything kind of makes the whole separation thing pointless, and then having them die, um, die at the end regardless also kind of makes it a little bit pointless even more so. So I find that... Uh, there's no real point in the different endings because the different endings really are kind of the same because of how you get there is always going to be the same. So you've designed it so you need a very specific route which isn't very clear which leads to the same result every time really in the end anyway. That's the only thing. Of course, it was still a good scenario. I still really enjoyed it and I hope um, I hope to see it I hope to see it improved and possibly with some custom images and stuff in the future and then I might play it again in my spare time. So thank you very much for making it. I certainly enjoyed it. I don't mean to be rude. Of course, I just give my honest criticisms about things I find. For the most part, it was good. It was very intriguing. I found the English was very, very good. I found the storyline was interesting and good. I found that the um, general atmosphere was good and yeah, it's a good um, concept matter. It's, it was probably the best Egyptian one I've played, and I've played quite a few of them, oddly enough, as time's gone by. So, thank you for making it. Of course, everyone at home, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video of death and destruction, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Plague Inc. Survival... 
Oh god, god, I was about to say Plague Inc. Survival Evolved. Wow. Plague Inc. Evolved is a series you want to see continued in the future. Guess who's been playing too much Ark? Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Thank <music> you.